Now, your KRBC Storm Team forecast with meteorologist Grant Tosterud. Well, after the windy day we had yesterday, those have finally died down this morning. In fact, it's those light winds and clear skies outside right now that are allowing temperatures to fall below freezing here in Abilene this morning. We're down to 31 degrees, so be sure to bundle up before heading out the door. And it sure feels like winter out there for the official start to winter. Today is the winter solstice. In fact, that actually occurs at around 430 later this evening. It is the shortest day of the year out there in terms of day length. We're only seeing about 10 hours, 1 minute and 10 seconds of day light right now with our sunrise shortly after 730 and setting shortly after 530 in the evening. Starting tomorrow, our days start getting longer. We get an extra whole one second of sunlight for tomorrow, bringing that up to 10 hours, one minute and 11 seconds of daylight. Our evenings have already been getting longer. We've been seeing more sunlight in the evening since earlier this month. It's our mornings, though. We won't start seeing more sunlight in the morning until we get towards the middle of January. But even though it is the official start to winter today, it sure definitely won't feel like it as temperatures make it into the mid 60s once again, even into Saturday, hanging on to some very warm weather for this time of year as our next cold front pushes in through the day. That's going to drop us back into the mid 50s for Sunday before we start warming back up again. Here we go into Christmas, even Christmas Day temperatures pushing back into the low and mid 60s once again as we hang on to very mild weather for your holiday weekend. Now taking a look at Christmas Eve, we're starting out Christmas Eve morning. Clear skies out there. Quiet weather continues. However, however heading into the afternoon, we're going to start to see a few more clouds push their way in, becoming mostly sunny out there. Heading into the overnight, Santa's got clear skies heading out over the region as we head into Christmas Eve night and into Christmas Day. So your presents should arrive on time as long as you're good out there heading into Christmas Day morning. As we head into Christmas Day, though, we're starting to see a few more clouds push their way in. Now, this one model is bringing in a chance for rain earlier in the morning. I don't think that chance for rain is going to move in until later in the afternoon into the evening and better chance as we head into Wednesday. But you can see that rain chance starting to push its way in again as we head into later Christmas Day night after everyone's already going back to bed and you don't have to worry about that rain. That's when that better chance is going to start pushing, especially into Wednesday ahead of our next cold front. So for your Christmas Day forecast here at Abilene, looks like it's going to be great. Just an isolated and shower possible. Well, partly sunny out there. It could be cloudy at times, but otherwise very, very mild for this time of year with highs in the mid 60s. So for today, we're actually going to see pretty similar weather to that beautiful weather for this time of year. In fact, already by lunchtime, we're in the upper 50s, close to 60 degrees, plenty of sunshine. Those winds starting to increase again, though, as we head later into these afternoon and evening, eventually with gusts up to 20 miles per hour, 64 for a high here in Abilene, plenty of sunshine out there. Falling back in the mid 40s tonight with clear skies. The breeziest of those winds will actually come into the overnight as we head into your Saturday morning and eventually dying down by Saturday afternoon. As that next cold front pushes in, dropping us into the 50s for Sunday. We'll be back into the 60s again, though, by Christmas Eve, mid 60s for Christmas Day. A better chance for rain will move in on Wednesday as another cold front pushes in, dropping us into the 50s for Thursday. I know people are probably sad there's not going to be a right white <laughs> Christmas, but for people traveling, I'm very glad that it's going to be good weather. There's good news in that department for sure.